And here we go again for more Gauntlet 4, Castle of Succession. We've collected three of our four rings now. We're going to head into the Water Tower and collect that last ring, the Fight Ring. See the Water Tower. See here we have slip tiles. They're really not too much of an issue. It's kind of an icy sort of slip around as you go. I'm going to try and stay towards the outside of all these teleporters. And hit all these traps around here. This first floor isn't too much trouble. It does use up several keys though. Come back for that later. See this side isn't open because we haven't come over here and hit this trap yet. Uh, in the arcade version it was mentioned that you get more points for doing melee damage rather than shooting everything. I'm not sure if that translates the same here into the quest mode. I do know that the generators are a bit harder to kill hand to hand. But it might not make too much of a difference, especially since most of the enemies obviously don't give any experience themselves. To avoid damage as I can. I shot the food. There's one kind of disappointing thing here in the quest mode, you don't get that fun narrator's voice when you do something silly like that. I'm going to bounce in here to the middle, hit that one. This is where the float ring is going to come in handy. We can just float right over these teleporters and get all of this central bit. I really should have taken that generator out as well. And one more trap tile. And a few more ghosts. See the float ring kind of gives you the same effect. Turn that off. There's the slip tiles we have on this floor as well. Obviously because you're floating you have no traction or anything. And down to the ninth floor. You can see like the earth tower we're starting at the top and moving down. Here are some of these demons. It's a generator, so we'll never get rid of them all until we do that. The ninth floor here is one where you will have to do some backtracking to hit all the traps. We right, got this one now, and it's kind of a dead end in this route here. Head back up. Let's see if we have enough experience for another stat. I'm going to give us some magic. Magic stat will help us when we use the magic potions it determines how much you actually kill or damage or anything. If something's very high level you won't be able to instantly kill it, you'll just take it down a couple notches. So a high magic stat is good for clearing the entire screen, especially later in the game. Make this mess out. You can see there's one of those little alcoves what we saw in the wind tower with the demons in the corner. And these grunts are a little stronger so I'm just going to shoot them here in the corner. If I had a little more fight power I might be able to take them on. And grab some keys because there are several doors here. Let's see this little hallway of no shot tiles. These can get very annoying if they give you some mimic treasure chests in the path as well because you have to run really far away or find a certain spot to take them out. And that demon. Probably see some of that later. See the demons can't cross that trap tile. Plenish our keys. A little bit more to go. 
just going to slip my mirror ring on here and take that generator out. Some tough sorcerers. Treasure, treasure food. And one more little section to take care of. One bad thing about those demons is they do the same amount of damage no matter what level they are. So even the low level ones can take quite a bit of HP off of you. I didn't need to kill him, but I have that habit of doing so. I'm trying not to shoot that. I don't need that potion. And with that, we have this floor cleared. Except for that one generator I can't reach from here. We're gonna go, we're gonna take this staircase here in the middle. Which leads us to the fight ring. Obviously with the fight ring on, fight ring, you don't have to worry about those slip tiles, not that they're any trouble. I knew that was a bad trip chest. We have a merchant here in the middle of the tower as well, but we don't really have enough money for anything. The fight ring will also, if you press your A button, give you your fight animation. You can melee the ghosts as well. You can also happen to, if you inch yourself forward, you can, oh, you can kill a merchant. Not terribly useful in most situations. There will be a couple points we'll use it. I think I actually got a little bit of treasure or gold or something from that. Wait a minute, does killing a merchant actually give you experience? Maybe it was the mimic that gave me experience. Can't destroy the blocks with them. Anything else? I'm gonna come up here. Okay, it must have been the mimic. I don't mean to take this time, but I really... It's not what I wasn't certain of. Mimics... Give you just a little bit of experience. How about that? Bit of food. I like keeping my heal ring on most of the time, just to knock that slow decline of health out. Um, we've collected our ring now. I could continue on with this tower, but I think I'd like to go start a different tower first. I we'll need to head back upstairs and take this staircase area. And this was a short vid this time. We're missing just enough gold to buy us a piece of equipment. Welcome. Let's see. Could play around. The fight ring will kill these merchants as well. They respawn after you come back from somewhere. These treasure chests are actually all mimic treasure chests. I'm stuck now, but since we're in the hub, they don't actually take any health. Kill them all. Actually get yourself a bit... Oh, I'm stuck again. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And we can pick up next time where I'm going to figure out which tower I'm going to start with. and. We'll Make our way to the end and find a big old dragon to fight.